Hello and welcome again to Piedmont Business Live. I'm your host, Ken Morrison. Today we're talking to Arthur Dick. He is the president and CEO of AdvantaClean of the Piedmont. Arthur, thanks for being with us. You're today. welcome, Ken. Thank you for having me. Glad to. <clears throat> so tell me, what services does AdvantaClean provide? Well, AdvantaClean, I'll just start by saying we're a locally owned and operated family business. Uh, we offer four service lines, which are all aimed at really solving people's problems related to indoor air quality issues. So what does that mean? The four services are mold, mold inspections, mold testing, mold removal, moisture control. Mold is always a result of some kind of moisture issue, so right. it's moisture control in your crawl space and basements, air duct cleaning, dryer vent cleaning, coil cleaning, HVAC restoration, we call it, and then emergency water and sewer response and cleanup. <clears throat> So what steps does Advantage Clean take to uncover <clears throat> mold and mm -hmm. similar issues that people have in their home that they may not even know about? Yeah, exactly. Well, it really starts with the initial phone call and conversation we have with either the existing or new customer, something of an interview really, asking a lot of questions that we have developed to help us figure out you know, why you're calling us, what your problem is. Uh, you know what's happening because of that and then after that it's a very in-depth inspection process of whether it's your business or industrial or home inside and out from attic to crawl space looking at absolutely everything that could be uh, causing this problem to come up with a solution to fix the problem not just the effect of the problem and I uh, tell me if I'm wrong in this uh, can people experience complications from mold long before they actually <clears throat> physically see it? Oh, for sure. Mold is really microscopic. So when we do a test, uh, like an air test, where we're actually taking samples of the air, they're looking at under, we send it to a laboratory and they're looking at it through a microscope. So absolutely, that's again, goes back to the indoor air quality issue of it because mold uh, affects indoor air quality. And so, yeah, people see mold and, you know, it does grow but it is a microscopic particle in the air that can affect people before they ever know it's there. So what specific steps <clears throat> does AdvantaClean uh, do to keep homes clean, safe, mm -hmm. healthy? Well, uh, <laughs> that's a, a large topic, but yeah. uh, again, I'll say it starts with the interview, the inspection, you know, finding out why you have a problem. If it is the mold, you know, where is the water coming from, whether it's excessive, excessive humidity, an actual water event such as a broken pipe or a leaking sink you had no idea about or a roof or you know it can go on and on and so the steps we take is one finding the root cause of the problem then addressing it our through our own services or through our referral partners that we work with who may do things that we actually don't but we bring in to help solve this problem so you know those are some of it. so again it's the mold issue but cleaning your air ducts can be a big part of one of the things that we can do uh, to help solve other problems and moisture control you know so what do we do all the things related around our core services as well as our we are a licensed general contractor and offering our services you know to help put everything back together and I imagine <clears throat> uh, when you see a small leak somewhere mm -hmm. of something it, you better take care of it quickly because a little bit of water can create a huge problem. It certainly can, and water uh, will do what water does, and it will find a way, I like to say. It will find a way into your building uh, one way or another, and it can be a microscopic hole. And unfortunately, a lot of times it goes on before people ever realize it because it could be happening where they don't go, which is a crawl space or a basement. And so it is best to uh, address it as soon as possible. But really, I'd also advise uh, calling a professional, even if it's not us, but call someone who can really help you fix it long term, because putting a dab of caulk on a hole is not a long term fix. So the things <clears> that you <throat> men uh, mentioned a minute ago about how you keep homes mm -hmm. clean and efficient, are those the things that kind of set you apart from your competition? Well, we like to think so. You know, there are obviously others that do this business. What we like to say is separates us is our years, and especially my 30 plus years of being a contractor and knowing building systems, but my staff is uh, equally trained and knowledgeable in that. But the things that separate us is our processes, the way that we uh, attack each individual project, because everyone is different, but it goes back to our people and our process and our training uh, is really what separates us.
And how long have you been with Advantica? Uh, it uh, was five years, uh, actually, last week that we uh, you know, set our documents. We opened for business in June five years ago. Okay. Yeah. It's been a good experience. Uh, it has been, like any business. It, it's not easy, but it is. Uh, it has been a good experience because, you know, the, it's because we help people, and it is uh, enjoyable to help people and solve their problems. And so, you know, that's one of the reasons we started this business because it is about helping people and them solving their problems, which is a good feeling. And getting paid for it doesn't hurt either. <laughs> <laughs> and now you could have chosen any business with whom to partner. Mm -hmm. So why did you choose Advantaclean? <clears throat> Well, primarily, um, Atlanta Clean is a national franchise, uh, but it's because it is locally owned in Huntersville, North Carolina. It was a piece of it, but really, it came down to the culture of the owner and Jeff Duden, who I spent a lot of time with, like all franchisees do in the due diligence period. Uh, but I could tell from himself and his staff that uh, they were, you know, the kind of people I wanted to be associated with. It was a very uh, good uh, model of a business, but again, it came down to their culture and their support and, you know, their involvement in the community and those kind of things, which are important to me uh, as well. So in the end, it was about associating with good people that, uh, and it fit my skill set, obviously. That was a big piece of it, but again, you know, I'm not gonna work with somebody who I don't respect and admire. Right. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you and I both are small business owners. Mm -hmm. And as we were talking about a few minutes ago uh, off camera, uh, being a small business owner, you, you tend to work harder for yourself <laughs> than you ever have for anybody else. And not because you don't work hard for somebody else, but mm -hmm. that's just the nature of being a business owner. What advice would you give to somebody who is looking to start or own their own business? Well, starting off with being committed to uh, what you're going to do, well, obviously loving it. My father always told me, love what you do. You hear right. it all the time, but that's a big piece of it. But being committed to the work that it puts in, which is something of a seven-day-a-week job. I mean, yeah, I take vacations, but I'm still taking my tablet with me and doing right. some work. So it is a, a commitment to doing the work because it doesn't happen on its own uh, or by itself. You know, obviously, you have to surround yourself with good people is the other piece of it, but you know, something else I would probably throw out there is admitting or acknowledging your shortcomings and uh, trying to improve on those. Yeah. Uh, you know, I have mine, we all do. So, you know, what are the things holding me back? And I've been trying to learn more and take either courses or other things to help me improve, you know, as a person and a business owner. So, you know, it's getting the help where you need it because you can't do it all on your own. Never hurts to be humble. Absolutely not. No, no way. In everything we do, you bet. Yeah. Arthur, thanks so much for sharing your, your story with us and, and especially your insights on being a business mm -hmm. owner. And, and I hope that people watching this will, will draw two big things out of it. One, uh, your experience as a business owner and learn from, from the insights you share, but also learn um, about your business and the proactive way it treats um, you know what you deal with and hopefully uh, that will bring you a lot of, of good business your way. Well, naturally, we hope it'll bring us some business, and I hope I've been helpful to uh, anyone who does see it. Uh, you know, now obviously, we're here to help. So, you know, for as we say, for a healthy home and business, call Advantaclean. There you go. Yeah. Arthur, thanks uh, so much. Bet. We appreciate your time. If you want to learn more about Advantaclean and Arthur Dick, then please visit their website. The link is at the bottom of this page, and it's also at the end of this video. All you have to do is click on it and go right to their site and learn more about them. And if you need their services, then by all means, give them a call. Thanks for tuning in to Piedmont Business Live. We'll see you again next time.